Hi guys, this is my first ever product review here on my channel. Um, it is not sponsored. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Printful Premium Pillow and Pillowcase. Um, I have used Printful multiple times. I use them for posters and I use I have used them for clothing and I tested a pillow a few years ago. So overall, just before I go into any details, I give this pillow a three out of five. So if you wanna stay and watch, you can. So um, I've used Printful's t-shirts and sweatshirts before. I think that they um, typically are really good quality. I'm happy with how the prints look. I do have a t-shirt that I think maybe I washed on the wrong setting after and it faded a lot. But overall, um, I think that those products are great. Now, I stopped offering them just because for me, it was difficult to deal with returns um, when it's this drop shipping service because obviously if someone orders the wrong size, you can't get your money back from Printful. You just have to be out of pocket if you want to replace that person's um, piece of clothing. So I stopped offering clothing. Um, posters I still use them for. I'm hoping to do canvas prints also. Um, but I wanted to think about pillows again because while a few years ago I tried their other pillowcase, which is just like the standard one, it's polyester and it's this really kind of smooth, silky fabric. But I personally was not a fan of it. I thought it felt kind of like basketball shorts or like 70s dress pants um <laughs> if that makes sense to you guys so yeah i just i personally didn't like the feel of the fabric i know some people think that it feels like amazing another problem i had was with one of the pillows i ordered through them um that was that kind the zipper in the bottom was just seriously messed up they were like bunching threads. It was like the sewing machine had malfunctioned and they still sent it out anyway. It was bad. So um, anyway, that is the story of the pillows. I've been using Society6 now for about a year um, and I wanted to use them just because they offer so many products that I could never make on my own. I did try sewing my own pillows for a while, which I offered, but by the time I spent the money on the like materials, which I got printed through Spoonflower, which I've always been happy with everything from them. Um, I, oh, Printfuls, Printfuls just responded to my, my review. I left them. I'll have to read that after this. Um, anyway, hold on. I'll come right back. Okay. So I just checked that email, um, which was pretty nice. They, um, just wanted to get my order number so that they could check back and see if the pillow I received was in accordance with their standards. If it's just like the typical quality that they ship out or not. So that's nice. We'll see. I don't know. I mean, I, I honestly like, I think it's the pillow is not that bad, but I have concerns about it. So I think that this is how it is. I just think maybe it's not up to my standards. Um, so there are a few things I will talk about. Um, I think I was saying that I've been using Society6. Um, I've been really happy with all of their products. I've ordered some myself. Their pillows are great. Um, the problem with them is that I find the site kind of difficult to navigate, um, especially on the mobile version. And because most of my business comes through Instagram, um, people go to it and then they can't find the section. I can't put things in the order that I want in my shop. They just go in there randomly or by like best selling or cheapest or whatever. It's really not that effective for someone to find something specific or for me to aesthetically um, make it look how I want or promote something specific. Um, and when you do click on a particular product, you can click on like view all pillows or something like in that product description. And then it takes you to all of the artists on Society6 pillows. And then you can't find who you were just looking at. So anyway, that was part of the big reason that I thought I might try to do this in my own personal Shopify store again, because um, I wanted my customers to be able to find what they were looking for. And um, not only would it be, actually it was gonna be cheaper for them, I personally would be making a little bit more because on Shopify you only make 10%. So if it's a $30 pillow, you make $3. 
um, which is better than nothing, especially when you don't have to do anything but upload the artwork, but still. So with that being said, when I saw that Printful was going to be offering this new premium pillowcase, I was really excited to try it out. It has pretty good reviews and um, <sighs> there were a few things that people mentioned that I kind of thought, oh, well, you know, I'll just see for myself. And now I do see for myself what they were talking about. Um, so as far as the pillow quality goes, I think, well, let me show you. Okay, here's my pillow. Um, 18 by 18 inches and I was really excited that I could do the back and front different patterns that's something you cannot do on um, Society6 and um, I'm also really happy well I should say pretty happy with um, the construction of the zipper area you can see there's this little hidden zipper um, there is a thread loose that I need to trim off um, and right here there's kind of threads like pulling but I don't think that's a big deal I think that's pretty much just like standard um, it's really well hidden the sewing ever everywhere else seems good um, my main concerns come um, aesthetically there's there's another thing I'll talk about um, aesthetically my main concerns are that my illustration that I sent in was much more of like a warm sunny yellow and so the overall thing turned out more green and I did send it in um, with the type of file that they require which is RGB colors um, and I even chatted with someone on there to make sure I was doing it the right way um, because when I ordered the pillow a few years ago that's just the standard one um, the colors were way off like super neon looking and I just didn't want that to happen again so yeah so it's not only is it more yellow, but it's also kind of washed out. It's more green, I should say. It's washed out, okay? And I don't think that's because of the print. I think it's because of how sheer this fabric is. Um, you can kind of see that this is like a dark print, okay? But it has like a lightness to it because the weave is so loose that you can see the lining through it. Uh, not the lining, but the pillow form. And so that just gives your thing overall a less rich and vivid look. Um, you can see it especially like right here. Um, to show you guys this even more, when I got it, it still had this tag inside, the warning tag. Um, and it was up sewn up here on the pillow form okay so the pillow form has this tag sewn on it and when you get your pillow it's like that so i mean yeah you can rip off the tag but when i first got it i thought there was like some kind of problem with the pillow itself so that was kind of disappointing because even though you can remove it it's the type of thing that when you if this is drop shipped and it's going directly to your customer they're gonna open it and they're just gonna see this giant <laughs> it's like a receipt <laughs> this giant warning tag um, showing through the pillow I know that this is a white design I don't know how much it would show through if it's not a white design let me put it on the other side okay I mean it's definitely not as bad but like look so that's, that's how sheer this is. Um, and I read one review, I think only one that I saw said it was sheer. So that for me is really upsetting because if it was just that the color was a little bit too green, I could warm up the, the piece. Um, I could darken it, but again, I really don't think it's the ink. I think it is how like spaced out the threads and the weave are. Um, so that is really disappointing. Um, I'm going to look because I just got an email back from them. I'm going to see what they said um, in response to me. Okay, so um, they just want to see some more pictures from me of it not in the pillowcase, um, of the, the form not in the pillowcase. 
so they can see, um, I guess, maybe the size of how this printed. So again, like I think this looks pretty close to the mock-up. It's just that when it gets actually stretched on a real pillow and it's not a mock-up, it does um, kind of look bigger. So that was one of my complaints was that when it's on the pillow, it stretches up and around more than what the mock-up made it look like it was going to be. And I'm talking about the mock-up of it in like with a pillow inside of it, not just the pillowcase. So I would have kind of expected that to be a little bit more accurate. Again, that is something that you could fix after ordering your sample by just changing your file a little bit. But as far as this color thing goes, I think you can make your artwork more like warm toned, like just over compensate for the fact that this comes out kind of green. Um, but you're not gonna fix the fact that this is just so sheer. Um, like, I don't know if you can see my hand through it. I showed you guys how that tag looks through it. It's kind of crazy. Um, and just like not something I was really expecting because I've never had that kind of problem before with ordering a product like this. But um, anyway, they are being very friendly and um, trying to get to the bottom of it and make sure that my product is as it should be. I think that honestly, I think this is what the pillow is. I don't think there's a problem with it. Um, but I mean, they're being very kind and helpful. So that's nice. Um, so overall, um, there are some loose threads. Overall sewing is good. Color is just okay. You could fix it yourself um, by fixing your file to be a little different, um, but the sheerness really bothers me. So the other thing that really concerns me that I kind of tried to ignore at first, because I guess I was just really excited about offering pillows, <sighs> is the fact that on the pillow, it tells you that they have this, um, it, it's the California warning. So it's, you know how you get like products and it'll say this product is known in the state of California to contain a chemical that causes cancer or something like that. Okay, well this one says, warning, this product can expose you to chemicals including abiraterone acetate, which is known in the state of California to cause birth defects or other reproductive harm. So I kind of thought, okay, you know what? Probably like every pillow sold at Target is like that and just no one looks, no one cares. So I kind of thought, you know, this isn't really a big deal. <laughs> you know, you make excuses for things. So I was like, I'm gonna at least order a sample for myself. And then when I got it, I kind of felt weird about like touching it, knowing that. And I know that I probably have other things in my home that have similar problems or, you know, chemicals being used on them but it kind of bothered me. And then I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna think about it for a while because obviously people don't have to buy this. They they can choose you know, whether or not they bring this into their lives. So, and I would put the warning on my listing, which is not really a very fun thing to have to do, but I was going to do it. So um, <laughs> then I was watching this nature documentary that shouldn't have like connected to this at all. But um, this woman was studying orcas and was talking about how when they die, you can find, and this goes for other animals in the ocean too, but orcas specifically when they die, you can test their blubber and you can find that they have crazy amounts of toxic waste that they've been ingesting through the things that they eat in the water or in the ocean because of industrial runoff. And she says that two of these things are from agricultural runoff, two of the chemicals that have been like, you know, they're not allowed anymore, but that flame retardants, which I know is something put on fabric, is not regulated. This was in New Zealand, is not regulated and that it runs into the ocean and they ingest it and they have huge amounts of these flame retardants in their system and it affects their reproductive health. And I'm like, reproductive health? And then it made me think of that. And I thought, okay, what is, what is this even used for? I thought, is it a flame retardant? Now, when you type that chemical in on Google, basically the only thing that comes up is saying that it is used to treat prostate cancer because I believe it's a hormone suppressant. Um, so yeah, that's not something that I feel great about having 
in my products. Um, but I'm thinking, why on earth would it be in a pillow? And so finally, after like typing in all different kinds of things, because I didn't think Printful would have anything on their website about like the details, because all they have is just this warning and then a link to the California website that tells you about it, which still doesn't tell you what it's being used for. Finally, I typed in Avaratarone Acetate Warning Pillow, <laughs> and it came up on Google with a printful um, FAQ thing, so I am happy that they have this on their website. But it says what it is used for in this product is to make it water resistant because this pillow they advertise as being able to be used for indoor and outdoor use. So that explains it. It's not a flame retardant, although the tag, the warning tag does say that this, you know, is flame resistant or something, so who knows. But um, it says it meets the flammability requirements by the California Bureau of Electric and Appliance Repair and Home Furnishings. So anyway, I mean, if we start reading all of our tags and all of our furniture and pillows, we're going to go crazy. But um, anyway, when you're buying one thing for yourself, it doesn't feel so bad if it says something like that but when you are going to be promoting the product to people to purchase then that feels worse um and not only that you know people have the choice of whether or not they buy this thing but if it is going into the oceans and affecting wildlife in any way um which i know textiles are a huge source of pollution um i just want to limit that as much as possible and that was kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back because I kind of just feel like I don't think I can use this product. They have plenty of other products that don't have these problems. So I'm not saying don't use Printful, but personally, I don't think I can in good conscience offer this particular thing to my customers. I will say that the standard pillow does not have this warning because it's not waterproofed. Um, so yeah, it's unfortunate. But that is what I learned and probably, you know, the, the biggest thing that makes me not want to use this, aside from the fact that I was disappointed with its sheerness, etc. So um, I'm going to be looking into maybe using Art of Wear. I have ordered their Velveteen pillows in the past um, and I love them. They're so pretty, so like luxurious looking. Um, but they just came out with a new pillow that is cotton and linen, which makes me really happy because even though this one has a linen look and the ones from Society6 have a linen look, they are polypropylene or poly polyester. Yeah, they're polyester. Um, so they're plastic. So I feel a lot better about offering something that's more of a natural fiber. I think that, that would feel better and just be better for the environment as far as production goes and everything. Um, one great thing about drop shipping services is that when they create a one-off piece for you, they don't have like bolts of extra fabric. Um, so it is a little bit more environmentally friendly because they're using what they make. And Art of Wear is reading on their website that even if they do a misprint, the way that they are doing their printing before it's like sealed or cured or whatever, they can wash the fabric and reprint over it, which is really cool. So if you are concerned about that type of thing, that's something to consider. I've written them to ask them a few questions. They haven't gotten back to me yet because it's the weekend. But um, anyway, I'm going to be looking into that. It's a little bit more expensive, but not so much more. And I think it would be worth it for peace of mind for me and my customers. Um, so yeah, that is my review of the Printful Premium Pillowcase. And if you guys enjoyed this video, I would love if you like and subscribe. I usually am posting art related things and also some of my outdoor adventures. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.